Hi, uh, thanks for joining us at the Nitro Lifestyle Show today. My name is Angel. And I'm Billy. We have Baby. Hi. Today we're talking about something really exciting. It is called Dandy Blend. Yeah, I'm very excited about this. This is I actually um, market it pretty much as a coffee substitute, mm -hmm. and it tastes more savory, satisfying, deeper, richer than coffee actually does. It does. It really does. It smells good, too. Yeah, I mean, it's just the smell of it, and there's no bitterness mm -hmm. whatsoever, so you, there's no bitterness to mask. It's everything coffee should be. Yeah, it's, it doesn't <laughs> have that aftertaste like coffee has. It doesn't stain like coffee. But not only that, coffee is very acidic mm -hmm. to your body. This is so, so good for you. I mean, it has so many health benefits. And, you know, it's called Dandy Blend because it has dandelion in it. And I'm going to run through the health benefits in a little while. But first, I just want to tell you a little bit about the Dandy Blend. Can you hold it? I'll hold it. Okay. Um, it. Like I said, it's a coffee substitute, and it is 100% GMO-free. Wow. Yes. I mean, I saw, like, on Amazon review, somebody was a little concerned because it has um, sugar beets in it, which not a lot, but some for the health benefits and the taste, not even so much for sweetness. Um, but they grow theirs in Poland where there are no GMO sugar beet crops. Oh, that's good. And they said they would not stand to have GMOs in their um, formula, and you can see the documentation on their website about that from their suppliers. And um, so, and also I thought it was really neat, um, it's... Um, was this is like about a 200 year old recipe and um, from Austria and wow. Dr. Gale revived this and has started marketing it and mm -hmm. brought it to the US he's an ethnobotanist and an ethnobotanist is someone who studies plants and the plant lore along with it so I mean that's, okay. that's a really cool profession and he's got a lot of books on his site that you might want to check out because he's got this book about um, like how to go out and get wild plants and has the recipes to use them and stuff oh, like yeah. that. So that's something we'll probably definitely check oh, out. Most definitely. But anyway, he did rediscovered this recipe and he took it to um, his med medicinal herbalist friends at the annual conferences and they got interested in it and it started being used by medicinal um, herbalists and um, you know, now it's mainstream so you can buy it. We'll have a link below to um, a website that is actually an affiliate link so we would appreciate it if you bought it from our link that's right um so because it'll help us out doing these videos and doing the blog posts that we love to do um but actually also it's the best price i've seen it anywhere because it's ten dollars at the link wow yeah and if you spend 49 dollars you get free shipping so that's cool and for to those save who some money. calories it says it's seven calories per servant yeah it has uh no it has zero grams of trans fat zero sodium and um, only 0 0.8 grams of total uh, carbs. Yeah, but carbs That's are good. good. Carbs Car are good. These are good carbs. Yeah, carbs are good. But also, usually carbs. what we do, now they have mm -hmm. a free downloadable recipe booklet that you can um, use to, you know, use the dandy blend in different ways. One thing that struck my fancy is that they suggest putting it in an ice cream. So you could put a scoop oh, in, in banana. Yeah, in banana ice cream to get like a coffee and flavor. And we actually have a link for banana ice cream. We got a video out. I don't think we did do one on banana ice cream. Well, no, we hadn't. Okay. <laughs> well, that's something we'll do in the future. Yeah, it'll we'll be coming. Because <laughs> we, we've eaten a lot of banana yeah, ice cream. Yeah, I thought we'd done one. <laughs> <laughs> they said, surely we must have. Mm -hmm. But anyway, they, they suggest using like a teaspoon to a tablespoon. And this is really neat. This is like um, instant. You put it in and mixes up. It, it's no effort. It's not going to be grainy because what it is, it's actually um, water soluble bits. Th that's what this is. They take the. Um, they have a propri pr proprietary blend of. Let me read what it is. Extracts of roasted barley, rye, mm -hmm. chicory root, dandelion root, and sugar beet. But since it's extracts, there's no gluten in it. So, oh, yeah. Yeah, so even though it's got, um, you know, the grains, it's no gluten. So this is exactly how they do it. Now, this is interesting. They take these roasted ingredients in the amounts that they have it in there, and they run hot water through it. And once the hot water runs through it, the hot water is like, you know, the, uh, a deep, rich color because mm -hmm. it took the good parts out of the grain. Well, they okay. take that water and they air dry the water, so they throw the grains, the grainy part away. 
or, or use it for something else. And they um, air dry the water. So this is actually the air dried water with the extracts. I mean, I thought that was a really neat process. That is a really neat. I've never heard of anything like that. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure they must do it, and but I didn't know about it. Mm -mm. But I also want to touch on um, some people try to stay away from roasted things because it has something called, I believe, acrylamides. I don't know if I'm saying that right or not. But they roast um, theirs at 230 degrees to keep the acrylamides under control because according to Wikipedia, like with breads forming acrylamides, it usually happens around 248 degrees. So even though this might have them in there, it's probably a low amount because they're okay. careful not to go over that temperature. So, and you know, it's not raw, it's roasted, but traditionally with herbs, people do um, usually sometimes boil them or put hot water on to get the extracts out of them. So as far as herbs are concerned, I really don't have a problem with them, you know, being heated to mm -hmm. get the good stuff out. And people have differences of opinion about that, but that's my opinion. I don't, I, I don't see a problem with steeping or whatever um, herbs to get the goodness out. But I'll just um, run over the health benefits really quickly. Dandelion is very, very good for the liver and for the kidneys to, um, you know, purify things. Um, it's been taken for um, the intestinal system as a blood builder, for anemia, acne, lowers cholesterol and blood pressure, eliminates gas, um, and it also counteracts certain cancerous tumors. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's really good. The chicory is good for healthy digestion and also good, it's food for good gut flora. So this promotes good intestinal health. And click on the link um, floating around about good intestinal health because we got a video about that. <laughs> um, it's also rich in potassium, supports the immune system, and promotes, um, promotes you being able to use B vitamins. Oh yeah. That's the chicory. B, B vitamins is good and it's very popular at this time. Yeah. Beetroot detoxifies and builds the blood, contains minerals, natural sugars, um, betaine, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but that stimulates and protects the liver. Um, beetroot is also reported to build blood, rich in phosphorus, sodium, magnesium, calcium, iron, potassium, vitamins A and C, etc. Also beetroot, I would not think this, but beetroot, um, significant tumor inhibiting effects. It was in a, um, a, a publication called Cancer Letters. They talked about it and said it was a useful cancer preventative. Isn't that something? Yes, I mean, this whole blend seems to be very detoxifying, very building and for your body, and anti-cancer. So, I mean, I, I just, it seems like a really good thing. And the taste, yeah, it does. I mean, the taste is out of this world wonderful. It, it just, it's, it's really lo good. lovely. I love it. Like I said, I, I've been a coffee lover, but I like this better than I've ever liked coffee anyway. Um, the barley and rye are both nutritious grains, and they're rich sources of protein and B vitamins. B vitamins. Barley is good for the urinary tract. Um, it's also good for fevers, inflammation, and helps heal the digestive system. And the way that they talk about their ingredients, they say they're basically non-labeled organic ingredients because it costs money to get the certification and stuff like that. They said their product would be a lot more expensive if they went through the certification. Yeah. So they're saving us money. They have the documentation to prove that it's not GMO and all that. Yeah, and we learned that a little while back by going to uh, our local farmer's market. Um, all you have to do is ask your growers, or do you grow organic or you know how you grow your food? And they'll tell you they just not certified, but yeah, they do it that way because it, it, it's so expensive. Yeah, and sometimes they even have big banners that say we adhere to the standards, mm -hmm. but you know, honestly, honestly saying that they're not certified. And we mm -hmm. gladly buy from them. Yes. Because, I mean, I don't think they're going to lie about it, honestly. No, not, not <laughs> just standing right there and I'm, they're there every week. Yeah, I mean, I just don't feel like that they would. And they, they could probably, they would probably invite us to their farms and show us around and all kinds of stuff too, so... Um, I mean, because, you know, the farmers are pretty friendly mm -hmm. and they have co-ops and stuff like that, so I don't think they're trying to hide anything is what I'm no. saying. Um, now, the, this is a 7-ounce bag, and like I said, you can get this for $10, but it has 100, you make 100 cups in there. Yeah, that's what it says. Yeah, so for between me and Billy, this bag will probably last us about a month. Um, yeah, it says it's a uh, serving per container, 100. Yeah, and so that's $10 a month for delicious health benefits, 
um, coffee delicious drink, you know. Yeah, I'm subscribing to it. <laughs> yeah, but they also come in um, bigger bags. You can get 14 ounce, 2 pound, so it might be a little, if you really like it, probably save money to get a bigger bag, so yeah. next time we might get like a 2 pound bag. Yeah, because we'll, we'll drink it. <laughs> and also it has 25 pack singles. And like I said, there's recipes on their website, free um, book to download for recipes, and books to buy, because he's an ethnobotanist, and I find um, that very interesting, and the things he has to share is probably very interesting. Oh, I would imagine so. Yeah, so we just really wanted to tell you about this. Um, I've, I've heard about it about um, a week or so ago. I think it was Detox Mom here on YouTube. Um, Shout out and thank you for telling us about this. Yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> yeah, so we thought we would thank you. <laughs> do the review and tell everybody why we love it and why we recommend it and all the health benefits. And mm -hmm. if you drink this, leave a comment below and let us know. If not, um, you know, go to the store um, link below and buy some and check it out and tell us how you like it because I mean, and even if you're like a coffee drinker and you're trying mm -hmm. to get off coffee. I mean, this could do it. I have tried other coffee substitutes, and I didn't really like them. No. But this is like, I mean, I just love it. The way we eat it is, um, this is how I make it. I put, I, I use the Vitamix. I put some water in the Vitamix, put this in there. Then I put a little bit of cocoa, and maybe about the same amount of cocoa as I do with this cocoa. <laughs> and also, you can use some sweetener. Um, right, what we used today was coconut um, sugar, which is just dried coconut nectar. So mm -hmm. you could use coconut nectar if you want to have it um, totally raw sweetener. It's been a coconut day. <laughs> yeah, it's been a coconut day. But that's how we do it. And like I said, there's you tell us which, how you're going to like to use it. Also, I thought it was interesting. There's some testimonials on there. And this one man, <laughs> they were telling how much is too much to drink. And they were like, you know, it is not not too much. You can mm -hmm. drink as much as you want. But this man, they told this man he drank, I want to say, like 15 cups a day or something. But they said that he didn't know he was drinking it, though, because his wife made the coffee and brought it to him. So he thought he, he thinks he's drinking coffee. And the whole time. She, and she's bringing him dandy blend. <laughs> <laughs> so that right there proves to you it tastes a lot like coffee. That's right. <laughs> so if you're a coffee drinker, you know, because coffee really isn't that good for you. This right here is an excellent alternative. Yeah, which I thought that was, that was kind of funny. I don't think it's good to be dishonest, but that was kind of funny. <laughs> <laughs> but um, like our video, give us a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to our newsletter. <laughs> you can do that by going to our website. The URL is in front of me. And we have a box there where you can put your information in and subscribe. And you'll get a free report called The Basics of a Natural Lifestyle. Mm -hmm. We're still um, sending that out. And also we have a group called Living the Natural Life on Facebook. You can go there and join because we'd love to have you. It's hey, um. My side. <laughs> Come on in. Look, 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 look. I gotta say. Yeah. Girl, we got lots of talking around. <laughs> and you won't go down. Come on in. Look, look. Look at my sight.